Allow me to introduce you to the American artist, Jen Stark. Jen Stark is best known for creating giant paintings of drips of paint, oftentimes created in rainbow order and sometimes mixing in with black and white drips. She's inspired by many things such as topographical maps, fractals, designs in nature, repetition, plant growth, and more. Speaking of inspiration, she's going to be our inspiration as we embark on our own version of a drip painting. So let's get started. Let's begin with a piece of paper and tempera paint sticks. You'll open your tempera paint stick and you're going to find that you can roll it up much like chapstick or glue stick. And you're going to want to use the entire flat surface in order to draw a nice thick line. So when I use my paint stick, you'll notice that I'm holding it up and down or vertically. When I create my dripped line, I use a lot of curves and I think often of making them irregular, meaning that each little part of my drip will be different. One might be long, one might be short. I could vary them by making them wide. The key is to make them all a little bit different. Holding it vertically, I'm going to go ahead and color it all the way in. And then I'm using another color to add another drip. I'm inspired by Jen Stark, so I'm going to go in rainbow order, but you can go in whatever order you like using any colors that you like. After you draw your line, notice how I'm coloring above the line with that same color. Just making sure to fill it in the best I can, trying to get rid of all of those white spots. When you use your paint marker, please make sure that you only roll up exactly what you need when you are drawing or color. If you roll it up too high, there's a good chance that you could accidentally break off the paint stick and that would ruin the paint marker. So let's make sure we take really good care of our art supplies as we always do. And just like a marker, these will dry out if you don't get the cap snapped on top. You can tell when you've got the cap on all the way because it will make a nice snap. When you are completely finished with your drip painting with your paint sticks, you're going to take a heart template, place it right smack dabity do in the middle and use a pencil to trace around your heart. You might need to have your Buddy help you out a little bit to hold the heart still. And of course, my big old hands in the way. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. And make sure not to let the heart move as you trace. Now I'm going to paint some stripes of lines radiating away from my heart. So I'm starting at my pencil line, which I know is tough for you to see, but trust me, it's there. I'm starting at that pencil line and I'm painting away and going all the way off the edge of the paper. These lines are called radiating lines and I'm making them starting at the heart, coming away from the heart. If your paint looks a little bit kind of what's called translucent, that means we can see through it to your designs underneath, then you might have to give it a second coat. That means you're just going to apply the paint one more time. When you're finished with your white radiating lines, I'm going to now switch to black. Again, I'm inspired by Jen Stark, and I remember she also did a black and white pattern in a lot of her drips. I'm not making drips, I'm making radiating lines. Think of it like when you sometimes draw a sun and you draw lines coming away from the sun, those are radiating lines. It's the same thing that I'm doing with my heart. I know what you're thinking. I can't really see your heart very well. Just you wait. I'm making sure that I go all the way to the pencil line and radiate away. And I'm trying to not mix my black and white paints together too much because I don't want a gray. I want a nice, strong contrast of the white and the black. There we go. Now for the final step. I'm using something called puffy paint, not puppy paint, puffy paint. And it helps to test it out a little bit on a surface like a paper towel. Just squeeze a tiny bit to get a little bit of a line on there. That way you can make sure that the puffy paint is coming out evenly. And I'm just drawing a variety of colorful lines going around my heart, 
to really make it stand out and pop. The puffy paint will dry with a three-dimensional or a raised line that's really going to make your artwork look even more amazing than it already does. All right, let's get started. <music> 